Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking in plenty of water, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Aries, as it take care of you, my loves. Come on in. Have a seat, Aries. Welcome back. All right, get comfortable. We're going to see what messages source your guardian angels and ancestors have for you in regards to love, Aries. Yes, love, love, love is in the air, Aries. Shout out to you all. All right, your Pandora song we got for you today, Aries, is I Can't Help But Wait by Trey Songs, okay? All right, so definitely go check out your Pandora song, I Can't Help But Wait by Trey Songs, all right? You know how it go. I can't help but wait to the day that we see each other again. Can't help but wait. All right, so definitely go check that song out. It's I Can't Help But Wait, all right, by Trey Songs. Okay, you may get some messages there intuitively from your guys or your significant partner, all right? But this person definitely cannot help but wait, okay? So this person is being very patient when it comes to you and this relationship, okay? I feel like you guys have decided to take the relationship here to another level here, okay? And this person is waiting, okay? They can't help but wait. They're going to be patient here, all right? So I love it. Definitely go check out the song, okay? All right, so Source Angels and Sestas, protect my space and aura as I channel the messages here today for the God and Goddesses. Source, what do we have for the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine? What do we have for the sexy ass Aries? All right. And shout out to the evolving spirits. Thank you all so much. Shout out to the soul tribe gang gang. All right. If you would love to become a evolving spirit like I myself, don't forget to click that join link down below. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and your love live stream questions when I go live, my loves. Definitely take advantage there. The prices will be going up. All right. But however, once you join the the soul tribe the prices will remain the same for you if anything they will become less cheaper for you okay so definitely take advantage if you love the energies here and you just need you know your own life coaching your own spiritual advice birth charts readings any sessions that you book with me you will always get discounts as long as you are a member here with the soul tribe okay so definitely take advantage of those discounts and perks down below in the join link all right and welcome back to the ones that are new here don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so we're first going to start with the tarot deck aries we're going to go dive straight in okay and see what messages come out here what's beneath the surface for you when it comes to your love life aries okay and then we'll dip and dab in some other tarot cards here okay and finish up with some spiritual advice from your guardian angels and ancestors all right that sounds lovely all right let's go for it mm. source angels protect my space what do we have here what do we have for the sexy ass fire signs what do we have for the rams what do they need to know source when it comes to their love life what do we have for the rams what do they need to know source what do we have for the rams yes Ooh. Bam, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, my love. So you're focused right now, Aries, okay? You're focusing on your job. You're focusing on your career, your finances here, okay? You're getting things in alignment for yourself here, okay? Some of y'all may have some small projects here that you are manifesting here for yourself. Some of y'all are starting a new business adventure here, okay? Some of y'all are thinking about going back to school here, okay? She's very focused here with her different portions that she has here that she's working and stirring up in that pot there, okay? She's very focused on her pinnacles, things that are tangible here in the 3D room, things that she wants to manifest for herself here in the future here, okay? And some of y'all, this person here could be an earth sign here. We have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, or you're just in that earth element because you're very, very focused right now when it comes to things that you value, when it comes to relationships, partnerships, and things of that sort as well, all right? Wow, beautiful way to start out your reading here, Aries. Good job. Keep it up. All right, stay focused on the prize, all right? All right. 
What else, guardian angels, ancestors, do we have? What else do we have for Aries placements when it comes to their love life? What is beneath the surface? Ooh, what's trying to come out? All right, what do we have? Ooh, do 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 do. All right, we have judgment here, Aries, okay? So there's a situation here that is wrapping up for you. This is a cycle here that's wrapping up for you. There is some type of ending here, all right, that your guardian angels, your ancestors in the universe here is requesting for you to pay close attention to, okay? They're trying to get your attention here. They're bringing in some good news here for you as well. So whatever this is that you're focusing in on here, keep doing it. Keep up the good work, okay? I feel like you're going to get in some good news some opportunities are going to be coming towards you as well here. There is some type of brand new beginning here. If you notice how they're doing this, like at the crack of dawn here, the sun is about to come out. Okay. Some of y'all, this may occur here or happen, or this opportunity may come towards your way here in the month of June or in July. It could be around the summertime here for some of you all here. Okay. What else came out here? Wow. Yes. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. This is fire energy. This is your energy, Aries. Okay. This talks about a brand new beginning of passion okay so like i said whatever you've been working on here whatever you've been manifesting for yourself whatever you've been putting out in the universe is now going to come into fruition here for you congratulations you're going into a new beginning okay so there's a cycle here like i said that's ending here with the judgment card here there's a situation that's about to be judged here and it's going to give you a doorway open here to a new beginning and whatever this new beginning is it's part of your passions okay this is is something that's going to make you very happy okay because it's something that you've always dreamed of or always wanted to do or always want to manifest for yourself right this is a partnership right this is some type of career some type of business adventure that you're setting out for yourself it's something that's going to bring you joy happiness and passion okay wow so let's get one more card here source angels what else do we need to know that's beneath the surface when it comes to aries and their love life wow we have the four swords jumped out here this is air energy here okay we have aquarius gemini and libra energy here okay this card also talks about healing taking time out to rest my loves okay i know a lot of you all been working very hard towards your goals here and what it is that you want to accomplish here but you want to make sure to balance that energy out resting is healing and healing is resting okay so make sure that you're getting enough hours of sleep okay because whatever this brand new beginning that's going to come towards you is going to need a lot of your attention and a lot of your work here so definitely make sure that you're taking time out to heal put that head up put that broomstick against that wall all right and take some rest okay you see how she's resting here all right, getting a lot of downloads here. A lot of you are going to be astro projecting, getting messages and downloads from your angels and your guardian angels here. So make sure you're taking time out of the day, even if you can get a couple of naps in here and there. That's good for your soul, my loves. That's good for your body, okay? Because you're going to have a new beginning coming here very, very soon, okay? This may put a lot of work on your hands here. You may have be having to give more attention to people around you. Even this particular partner, if you're going into a level of commitment with someone and they're going to be giving and needing your energy and your time as well as you're going to be needing their energy and time it's good to make sure to take out some time to definitely get some rest okay all right you're going to be giving out more energy than what you're normally used to i feel here okay so let's get some clarification here let's clarify the judgment here for my sexy ass aries why do we have judgment here wow beautiful spread here so far i'm loving what we have here so far all right definitely if you do don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up all right show spirit some love okay again if you're new here love subscribe my loves go ahead and be a part of family all right this is where we love and we evolve each and every day here on this platform okay definitely don't forget to click that notification bell and select all all right i am so excited to see where the energy is here in this new beginning takes you all right in the future and definitely don't forget to hit that notification bell for when i go live my loves okay so you can come hang out all right hang out with me while i pull a couple of cards and if you have a question there you're more than happy to ask okay all right so spill it what do we have here 
clarify their judgment card here for my sexy ass rounds. What do they need to know regarding the judgment card? Whoa, slow it down. Take it easy. All right, so some of y'all need to slow it down. Take it easy, okay? Watch your decisions that you're making here. Make sure that you're thinking before you're making decisions. Make sure that you're thinking before you react, okay? I know that is very challenging for you, Aries, okay? Because you're quick to pop off. You're quick to say things that you think immediately, okay? So watch what you think, okay? That's very significant for someone, all right? That's going to be very important while you're here working on your event, your adventures here, okay? Because there's definitely a new beginning coming here. Thank you. Wow, yes, because we have the three of ones. I told you, you're manifesting, okay? And someone is manifesting you. All right, some of y'all got a nice shining armor coming along here, okay? I'm just saying, okay? But the three of ones here talks about manifesting. You see how he has his wand here and he's twirling it in the water. He's speaking it out in existence here in water. is very good way to manifest when you speak in water and then you go ahead and drink it behind that, okay? That is going into your cells, into your body. I just dropped some jewels for you, honey. Okay, so as you're manifesting, you speak into that fucking bottle of water. You say what it is you want, and then you drink it, okay? And it will show up, and it will act as you are acting it out through your vessel, honey, okay? Drop yourself, honey. If you want more schooling like that, honey, click that join link, okay? I drop all the jewels and pearls with my evolving spirits in the soul tribe, okay? But that's just a little jewels there for you, honey, when it comes to manifestation okay with all this water here water may be very significant for you to needing to manifest okay definitely my loves this is what this ending and this closure is coming to because you're having a new beginning your ship's about to sail in okay so things that you may have done you could even put in applications here you could have signed up for classes here you could have done things to set you up for success here okay i'm noticing that because they're showing me the books here okay some of y'all are going to be seeing feathers here that talks about you're now being in alignment and you're balancing yourself out here that your angels is leading you on the way so some of y'all might be just walking and you're running into different things out in nature here you have a map here there's definitely significant as in regards to paperwork contracts here things that you may be signing applications here that you may have sent off here wow i'm getting a lot of downloads here for you this is going to be referencing to that new beginning that you're going on here clarify the ace of ones what type of new beginning is this what can you tell us about this new beginning guardian angels tell me more about the ace of ones energy here for aries placement and cross watchers welcome back my loves you are welcome here as well why do we have the Ace of Wands, Source, Angels, Ancestors? Clarify the Ace of Wands here. Why do we have the Ace of Wands here for Aries? Ooh, wow. Yep. I can't make this shit up. I knew it was coming here soon enough, okay? We have the Six of Cups here. This talks about soulmate energy, okay? Someone returning from your past here. Someone returning from your past previous life, okay? Some of y'all have already met this person in your past life, and now because you two have evolved, you're working on yourself, all right? This person is now about to cross path with you, honey, okay? So, wow. Some of y'all, this person could be a water sign here, a Cancer, and a Pisces, a Scorpio, but you're definitely about to have a brand new beginning here with a particular partner here for some of you all that's regarding love here okay some of you all this person could be a fire sign like yourself here we have sagittarius aries and leo energy here as well as well as air replacements here we have gemini aquarius and libra placements here as well okay yes wow we have the ten of cups i can't make this up all right, again, this is wishful fulfillment here. Some of y'all are going to be blending families with each other here, okay? Some of y'all may have children and they may have children here and you're blending families with each other here, okay? But we have the Ten of Cups, a completion here, okay? Things are going to come into completion for you here. And this is what you guys have been manifesting here with the Three of Wands, okay? So you two have manifested each other here basically Whoever this person you're going to meet here, some of y'all have already met this person here. And like I said, you're just taking it to the next level here, okay? You're going into a committed partnership here. And others of you haven't met this person yet. And this person is coming in because we have the three of ones here, which talks about your ships are coming in here, okay? Because you have been dreaming about this. You have been visualizing this. And the more you dream and visualize and write things out and speak things in existence, as in AKA some water, okay? This is what fulfills it itself here eventually wow oh my goodness the ace of fucking cups aries it's about to happen 
Wow, it literally is going to happen. This talks about a brand new beginning in love. Okay, so I cannot make this up. You're about to meet your soulmate. You're about to meet your divine partner here. All right, how? Because you have the Ace of Wands here. You have the Ten of Cups here. Like you have all the cards that comes and wraps up to the number 10. Okay, which the judgment talks about things ending and new cycles beginning here for you. your ancestors is giving you heads up here. Okay, wow. Oh my goodness, Rams. This is beautiful. <gasps> Look at this. I cannot make. I cannot make this up, Aries. Congratulations. We have the two of cups here. I just said that you're about to meet your divine partner. This is that ace of cups. You see her. She's a woman of wisdom. She's a woman of, you know, been learning through experiences, through all type of relationships and experiences. And now she gets to hold that big ass cup as it still runs over. Okay. And now you're about to meet your divine partner, your other half. The two of cups, like I said, that was that soulmate energy. This person that you've met in a previous lifetime before, they're coming back. They're returning here. Okay. Wow. Wow. I am so, I am so speechless right now. I am so speech. I am so happy for you, Aries. Oh my gosh, Aries. Ah! It's getting real between you and this person. Like, like I said, some of y'all, like I said, you definitely have already met this person, okay? You guys are maybe going out on more dates now. You may are spending more time together. Things are getting more serious. You're engaging energies with this person here. Things are getting a little intense, honey, okay? And it's definitely going to the next level because remember, what's at the bottom of the deck, honey, is what we don't expect coming here. And a lot of you all don't expect this, but it's coming. Wow, Aries, I'm so, oh my goodness. So let's see how this person feels. Now that we got all this love bomb going on here, let's see how this particular energy feels towards you. Guardian Angels, Ancestors, how does this energy feel towards my sexy ass rams? Okay, how does this energy feel? Because I, this is so beautiful. I am so happy for you guys. It has been a long time coming, Aries, okay? All right. And some of you all have just rekindled with this person here. Some of y'all, you have met this person already. This person has been in your past and they have came back. You could have even separated from this person here. And now you two are going to try to rebuild this, reestablish this relationship here. As you, like I said here, you're meeting this person for the first time during this lifetime. All right. And now you two are going to, you know, take it to the next level here. It's going to be different for everyone, right? We're all on different timelines here, but this is definitely a cycle here that's closing now and going into a brand new beginning of love genuine love here with the ace of cups okay wow no one will ever know wow yes no one will ever know this is a type of bond here that no one cannot break regardless even if you have broke up with this person several times several times in your other past life you guys will always meet up in the middle when you guys jump into another avatar you better fucking believe that that's how that works that's what they call soulmates okay definitely when this person just it's like they know you inside out it's like they know everything about you it's just like this person knows when you're upset they know when you're happy you know it's just a feeling that you two won't ever be able to shake and that's what soulmates are that's how you are connected on a soul level okay what else guardian angels and no one will ever know that they will never understand it but you two and that's what's so dope about it that only you will be able to give each other that look right or that eye contact where no one will know what the fuck is going on i fucking love shit like that all right yes we have keep my mouth covered in the bed Oh my goodness! Keep my mouth covered in the bed. Now look, I wasn't the fly on that wall while y'all were up in that bed. But look like y'all over there about to wake up some neighbors. You got to keep the mouth closed, Aries. Don't be too loud. Don't be too loud, Aries. Wow, I want some more of you. This person, not only are they in love with you, honey, but when it comes to that bedroom, look, now y'all got me want to get out. Um, Let me get a couple of my sexual magic tarot deck out here my sexual tarot deck out here i mean we might as well we already in the energy aries so we might as well okay let's see here source what do we have what do we have ancestors for this beautiful soulmate connection here source what do we have here wow aries no one will ever know right 
Look, well, I'm going to be on the fly on the wall just for temporarily. I won't tell nobody else, okay? I ain't going to tell nobody else your secrets, okay? I'm just going to tap in divinely here. Ooh, I can't make it up. Wow, we have the Knight of Cups here, okay? This person is definitely coming in here, okay? You see how you're over here minding your business in this water, Aries, and your Knight shining armor, as I mentioned here at the beginning of your reading. They're coming in, okay? Excuse me. Well, that was a confirmation with that burp there because I'm only drinking water back here. I'm just drinking some lemon water back here, Aries. So that was a burp. That was a channel burp, okay? So that's confirmation, okay? So this person is definitely coming in. Some of y'all, this person could be a water sign or they're just in their emotions right now when it comes to the water element because they're going to be coming into you expressing their emotions. You see how she got her hand on her chest like, you talking to me, to little old me? You're coming back to me. And like I said, he got that torch right there, honey. So some of this person may be a fire sign. All right. This person could be a Sagittarius here, a Leo here, or an Aries like yourself here, honey. But they're coming in. Okay. And like I said, some of this person is coming back to apologize to you here with the Knight of Cups because you could have already met this person. Like I said, you could have even been separated from this person or even from your past life. And this person may have done you wrong in your past life. And now they're coming back to treat you right in this past life. Yeah. I can't fucking make it up. We have the magician here. This person is coming back here to manifest. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies. <laughs> this don't look nothing like the magician here, does it? Okay. This card, it's another card in here looks just like this, but they're standing alone, of course, right? Because they're the magician. But this card here is the death card here, meaning this is Scorpio energy. Some of y'all, this person may be a Scorpio Aries, but this card talks about rebirth, right? Transformation. So this person that's coming in to apologize to you, they have changed, okay? There are some things about this person. They have a new perspective here, okay? When it comes to you in this relationship, okay? They want to manifest a relationship and build it a way that they may didn't get to build once before here, but they're coming in in a death energy. And for me, that's good news because this tells me that they've transformed their ways. They may have had toxic ways or patterns and ways of doing things here, but they definitely want to rekindle this. They definitely want to start over. They definitely want to start fresh with you. Okay. And look, and no one will ever know. Okay. All right. I'm just saying, okay, let me hear you. Let me get one more card here for you. All right. Oh, this is so sweet. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Now look, look at the synchronicities here. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Now this talks about, you know, offering you an opportunity here, or offering the opportunity when it comes to you building literally with the pentacle here, something tangible. This person may even propose to you, Aries, okay? I don't know. You tell me. And then we got the Ace of Cups here. This talks about a brand new beginning in love. And then we have the Ace of Wands. You fucking do the math, okay? Wow, Aries. Oh my goodness. I am so speechless here. Okay, let's get some word of advice as we close out your spread here. Okay, definitely go check out your last reading. I will click it and save it here at the bottom of your reading here at the end. Okay, so definitely check out your last reading. It's definitely relating to this reading here. Okay, you guys have definitely transformed, okay, and your person has, okay? This is what's going to bring this union back together and allow it to be a solid foundation here. Wow. All right, so definitely, again, if the reading has resonated, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I can't wait to see where the energies here progress for you too. okay? Source, let's get some word of advice for you, Rams. What do we have to close out this beautiful, beautiful, passionate, love, love, love in the air here, literally reading here, okay? Wow. All right, this is why that song for your Pandora song came out for you, all right? Wow, let's see what jumps out. Yes, we have the seven of air here. Plans that need revising, okay? So make sure that you're revising, you're reviewing over any decisions that you're wanting to make here for yourself, all right? More going on than meets the eye, okay? Poor timing. So anything that you're manifesting when it comes to, you know, your career, your finances, things of that sort, make sure that you're paying close details when you're submitting applications, when you're viewing over emails, things of that sort. Make sure everything is in alignment with itself, okay? And wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy here here okay again some of y'all this person could be a Sagittarius here we have a time of positive change yes like I said this is going to change the type of relationships that you have had in your past 
those are done. Those are over with, okay? The type of person that this person may have been here in your past, those days are over with. They're going to be able to be more patient with you, okay? Remember that song talked about something about weight, okay? That all weight, all right? So definitely go check out that song, okay? I almost forgot the song, almost. So definitely go back, rewind this reading here to get the name of that song for your Pandora song, okay? I've channeled so much that I've down there forgot the song that I got for you while I was meditating with your energy before I started your reading. I always play a Pandora song and whatever randomly comes on that tells me that's the energy that you're currently in, okay? So definitely go check out that song that's at the beginning of your reading here okay we have a situation suddenly okay literally it says a situation here that suddenly moves forward okay fortune is on your side wow oh my goodness aries and look at him i know he looks so sexy and strong with those muscles honey yes baby your knight and shine and armor is coming honey he is on his way just look at him he been in the gym he been getting right and tight look fuck it up aries okay or if this is you aries i'm talking to a masculine energy here fuck it up you're looking good honey or divine feminine aries goddesses you're looking good keep it up honey wow aries this has completed your love reading again i hope the reading has resonated with who it needed to resonate for if so don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell my loves okay again if you would love to book a personal reading with me all that information is down below in the description box my loves again if you have enjoyed the energies don't forget to click that join link all right so you can get more fun time with me as well and exclusive discounts on your love readings as well and also we have our own private chat and i do more pre-recorded videos private videos just for you guys throughout the week and daily messages as well all right so definitely check out that join link down below i love you so much aries and congratulations my love all right everything is now coming into alignment for you okay keep remain focused here keep continuing to doing the hard work and please make sure to get you some rest and some sleep honey okay i love you aries mwah, mwah, mwah. bye bye